This lesson's all about line of symmetry. Lesson 10.8. A line of symmetry is an imaginary line on a shape. If we fold the shape on the line, the two parts will match exactly. So here we have a heart, and you can see this is the line of symmetry coming right down the middle here. If we fold the heart, we can see that this side right here matches this side. See that? When we draw a line of symmetry, one side matches the other side perfectly. See that? If we had a kite and we took this part and had a fold line right here, this line of symmetry, and we folded this part over here, it would match perfectly. Objects with a line of symmetry have matching parts. And look at the letter B. If we make a line of symmetry right here, and we folded this part onto this part, they wouldn't be matching parts, would they? So that's no symmetry. If we took the same letter B and made the line of symmetry going this way, and we folded the top to the bottom along this dotted line, this line of symmetry, it would match, wouldn't it? It would fold over and they would match exactly. So that would be symmetry. So the letter B doesn't have line of symmetry this way, but it does have line of symmetry this way. Some objects have no line of symmetry. We can't draw a line of symmetry on a letter J and fold it over and have it match. That won't match, will it? Because this part is curving and it would curve out this way, but it wouldn't match this side, would it? And this has got a real big piece up here. If we drew a line of symmetry and folded it over, that wouldn't match the other side. So that's no line of symmetry. And it's easy to see a line of symmetry on some objects. On a triangle, we can see that we could just fold this over and it would match, right? Or on a square, we could fold it over and it would match. We could even draw the line this way and fold it over and it would match. Squares actually have more lines of symmetry than this. On the letter X, we could draw a line coming this way, fold the paper over, and they would match, wouldn't they? We could draw it this way, and it would match, right, if we folded it over. So, look at our rectangle here. Is this a line of symmetry for the rectangle? If we fold the rectangle on the line, will the parts match? Well, let's try. So here we've got this rectangle, and I drew a line of symmetry. If we fold this rectangle, do the parts match? Yeah, they do. Look at that. They match perfectly. See? So that would be a line of symmetry for a rectangle. Now, some objects only have a line of symmetry if we turn them and they're facing a different direction. So this little mousy, if we drew a line of symmetry right here, well, nope. It doesn't work. There's no matching parts because his nose would be sticking out and that ear would be sticking out on this side. So that's no line of symmetry here. But if we turn the little mousey to face us and drew a line of symmetry like this, then there would be matching parts, wouldn't there? His little ear would fold onto that little ear and that little arm would fold onto that arm. See how that worked? And look at the dog. If the picture of the dog is this way, that's not a line of symmetry because if we folded it on the dotted line, his head would come over here and that wouldn't match, would it? But if we have a picture of a dog where the dog is facing us, we can see that the legs match, the ears match, even the eyes match, don't they? See that? So it's got to match. So let's see if we can draw a line of symmetry. Can we draw a line of symmetry on this pair of pants? What if I drew a line coming down like this? Would we be able to fold the pants like that and have it match? Have you ever folded your laundry and put it in your drawer? That would match, wouldn't it? We can fold a pair of pants like this and put one leg on top of the other, and that would be the line of symmetry where we folded it, see? Can we do it to the number five? If I went like this, would we have matching parts? No, we wouldn't have matching parts for a number five, would we? What about a picture of a tulip? If I drew a line of symmetry coming down like that 
and we folded it, would the parts be matching? Yeah, they would. What about a capital H? Could I draw a line of symmetry down like this and have this side folded over and have it match? Yes, that would work too, wouldn't it? All right? So a line of symmetry is an invisible line that if we folded the object on that invisible line, both parts would be matching. See that? All right, let's do a little review of what we've learned before. All right? You know what shape this is, right? Do you? It's a cone. So which one of these sh or which of these shapes match that cone? Well, here's a traffic cone. That matches, doesn't it? That's a cone. Does this match? Do you know what shape that can is? And that can is a cylinder. That's not a cone, is it? And that's an easy one. It's just this turned around upside down, right? That's an ice cream cone. So that's a cone. All right. It says, write the number of corners and sides. Do you remember what corners are? Corners are where two lines meet. So that's a corner right here. That's a corner. That's a corner. That's a corner. And that's a corner. So how many corners are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five corners. And remember, corners are also called a vertex. If there's more than one corner, more than one vertex, they're called vertices. You're going to learn about that in third grade. How many sides are here? Do you know how many sides are on this shape? And do you know, in fact, do you know what this shape is? Let's count the sides. Here's one, two, three, four, five sides. Do you know what we call a polygon with five sides? We call it a pentagon. There's a Pentagon, Pentagon building in Washington, D.C. It's shaped like this. So just remember, a corner is also called a vertex, and that's going to be coming up in third grade, and you're going to know before everybody else. You're going to say, I already know what a vertex is. It's a corner. All right? So a line of symmetry is an imaginary line on a shape and if we fold the shape on that line, the two parts will match exactly, okay? See if you can find things around your house that have a line of symmetry. Can you get a magazine or some pictures and fold them on a line of symmetry and see if they match, okay? All right, we're going to continue on and we're going to start talking about equal parts, okay? We'll get into a little bit of fractions. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.